Okay. Oh. I am highly motivated to go to the gym this morning. Not the gym. Go to the track and go and walk and get all my steps in for the morning. I'm on a tight schedule. I need to go to Target. Oh, my sister-in-law is calling me back. Hang on one second. All right, well, I'm not going to the gym today. And I'm, I'm only mildly annoyed with that because I'm so motivated this morning. I'm like in my gym clothes, got my tennis shoes on. I have exactly an hour and a half to be at the gym. And then I had an hour to go to Target and get a few things that are necessary for today. I have a party tonight and I needed a few other things. I'm on a timeline and my friend um, invited me. This may sound stupid and I may still have time to go do it, but she misses having friends with her while she takes her kids to the McDonald's Playland. <laughs> and she hasn't gone since before COVID. So the last time she went, I joked and I said, well, next time you're there, give me a call. I'll come down and drink a Coke while we chat and your kids can play. I miss it too. I just am not in the kids playland mode anymore. Um, but I still may have time for that. We, we shall see. Um, <laughs> and I'm laughing, but I am taking it seriously. All of that is off the table right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. I am on my way. Hang on one second. Let me try and get this to go through here. I'm at a stop sign or stoplight, I should say. I don't know why my phone isn't working. Um, I'm not trying to like <laughs> keep you watching to find out what's going on. All right, but well, now I've cried, so that's fantastic. <laughs> um, so my father-in-law has fallen and hit his head and he's a stubborn man. Um, he doesn't know he blacked out. He fell on the concrete in the garage and um, he's refusing to call an ambulance for himself. So, um, he, he lied and told my sister-in-law that Jason was coming and he's not. He doesn't have the ability to come and leave work because he didn't have a full staff today. And um, it's not that I am unwilling to like forego my plans today to go to help him. It's just all frustrating because he wanted my sister-in-law who's a nurse practitioner. I shouldn't be like, just am frustrated. I wanted to work out this morning and I don't have time this afternoon but I also want to go and take care of him um, because if I don't go and take him to urgent care or the ER, he's not going to do it himself and I'm not gonna hold his life at risk like that. So I have to be the one to take my father-in-law and force him to go to urgent care. It's just frustrating. See this stubborn old man. <laughs> So Jason's calling him again and telling him, my wife is almost there, get in her car. And that, yeah, like that's how forceful we're being. Um, I don't mind that my day is like, my schedule is ruined, but I just don't like being the one <clears throat> to have to tell someone to do something they don't want to do, but their health is at risk. So that's how my day is going. Date. My father-in-law, begrudgingly, stubbornly, is in urgent care. I won't tell you the, the lengths he tried to go to not get into my car. <laughs> Regardless, he's in there and apparently uh, code blue is your ticket to get seen immediately. <laughs> he was taken back right away. As soon as I said he had a head injury on concrete in a garage, they were like, walkie talkie, code blue, just a second, sir. And someone came out. So he's being seen. I can't um, go back with him. So I'm not going to sit in a waiting room of six people. So I'm sitting in my car. I'm just waiting and uh, watching all of Jason's brothers and sister <laughs> and sister-in-laws chat in the group chat about him being stubborn <laughs> while I wait and I forgot my water and all I have is a watered down coke from yesterday 
forgot my water on the counter. And I think I'm gonna have to cancel my next thing. I have an hour and a half until my next McDonald's play date with my friend. We'll see. Maybe, maybe he'll, maybe I'll have him home on his recliner soon. And uh, Jason can check up on him on his way home from work tonight. So we shall see. Okay, have my father-in-law in the car and uh, getting his meds. I've already turned in a prescription, but I had to come back to the car and get my pants on. I have my workout clothes on. This is the tank top. I'm freezing cold. <laughs> um, and I'm going to, I had to run back out to get my car or my purse. I'm gonna get donuts for my little friends, my friend's little girl, because I feel bad I'm missing out on my little play date with her. I'm supposed to start right now. I remember they didn't have my card, so I snuck these donuts and left them here on this little tray. Take her little sprinkle donuts whenever I get to hang out with them. Just in case I don't meet them at McDonald's, I'll drop those off at her house. And, uh, Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't. I was gonna get her a Coco Melon coloring book too at Target. It's part of what I was gonna go do instead of all this, but it's okay. Donuts will help. Meds, donuts. Now let's take him home and get him settled into bed. All right, I have Abu with me and we're gonna go to Target, but I also just got a notification that I have something at the post office to go and pick up. We'll go find out what that is. I hear an ambulance. Oh, I guess I can't do anything about it. Um, yeah. I've been seeing ambulance all over. Really? I was like, I saw five of them going like towards the way to Target and they were just like back to back for some reason. There's yeah. like five out. I don't know. And you went in lockdown yesterday at school, right? Yeah, people were freaking out because they, because they said lock your doors. Yeah. Why did you go into lockdown? Because there's a bobcat outside. A bobcat was outside. So we still have like unusual reasons for um, lockdown, aside from like the new awful reasons for lockdown. Um, but anyway, I have a few things that I need to get from Target that I was supposed to get this morning. Um, and then or we'll go to the P.O. Box. I signed up to get notifications because I just don't go there often enough to know that I have something and I would rather just get notified. So we're going to go do that and find out which one of you sent me something because there's nothing else um, that would be coming from that I would get notification for. I get junk mail there, but that wouldn't notify me. So, you're not getting a Squishmallow, correct? Yeah. She didn't even bring money, correct? Yeah. Good. Okay, I found a shirt for myself, eight okay, bucks. Fine. And then my favorite things are chapstick and chocolate. Okay, we're gonna have to worry about that. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then we found a Coco Melon coloring book for my friend's little girl. And it has stickers in it too. So I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, now we are at the P.O. Box and I have a cute little package. We should open it up for everyone to see, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, normally we don't have to have sun being our issue as our lighting. What is that? But Ashley's gonna open up this package. Let me open it really quick. It is, this is from Patricia. So we should look and see what is in here. Oh, oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's Ashley knows what this is, huh? I can't even see. I know. What? I can't show all of it to you because it, it's a gift card to the Coco Nene store in Hawaii. Are you kidding me? Ashley just said, it's your favorite store. It is. Right? Yeah. It is literally like my all-time favorite store in, in Maui and Hawaii. There's I've been to it on three different islands. Okay, what else is in there? Okay. I have to hold the phone here. So I'll close it. So it's better lighting. So I'll turn it around. Okay. This is ass let me turn the car around. Hang on. Okay, that is much better. Okay, so stickers. Again, 
where are you guys finding these stickers at the dollar store? Is this one from the dollar store? You do it differently in Can and this says it's from Canada. Well, it's from New York. Okay, what else? Oh, she's like surprising me. Oh my. It's so cute. <laughs> that is so adorable. Oh my gosh, this is going right on my shelf. It's okay. like got sequins. What is it? Is it just like a little card? I wonder. Oh, and I'm it's, not like, it's like stuffed. Oh, it is like a little card. What does it oh, say? Oh, she wrote something in it. Maybe she did, or maybe it's just like a generic. No, it's just. It says, "How oh how you shine! Happy birthday to a true original." <laughs> that is the cutest thing. There's how fun is that? There's a card. Yes. Okay. She's being very climactic here. Happy belated birthday, Dana. Okay. This is like such a good gift, you guys. Wherever the year takes you, may it be happy. Maui. Maui. It says Maui on the bottom of it. Um, happy birthday. Hope it's filled with wonderful adventures. We do like adventures. Have, wishing you a very happy belated birthday. Here are a few cute Maui-like stickers and a cute Hawaiian pineapple. I know you love the Coco Nene store, so here's a gift card for a lot of money to treat yourself to those cute, adorable Maui longboard letters. Like, you know me. Uh, looking forward to your Maui vlogs and seeing what you pick out. No Maui no Ko'oi from your YouTube follower, Patty. Oh my gosh, you that are over so the top. That is over the top. This literally made my day. And it, oh, I, I mean, it doesn't expire for a really long time, but it'll be used in the next couple months. Oh my. In two months. Blows my mind. This literally just made my day. Thank There's you more. so much. There's more? Yeah. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have these ones. I have these ones, but I need more because I take the little um, 3D little poppet thingy out when I put it in my notebooks. But then on some of my things, I leave the pop-up, like the pop-up sticker in there. So I love these ones. I can add to my little Maui lists with new stickers. Thank you. I kind of needed this. I just kind of needed this. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love our chat. That's why I, I tell you, do not bend. That's why it does say do not bend. Yes. It's a lot of paper. I thank you. So so nice of you. <laughs> and I kind of came on a day where I was kind of getting frustrated. So thank you very much. Okay. Just dropped Ashley off at home. I am pretty darn determined to get to the gym today. Because right now, if I were to go in, I would have crappy food to eat. Even though I technically have not eaten yet today. I got food at McDonald's when I was there with my friend, but it just felt so gross. Luckily, <laughs> I haven't I haven't eaten it. It's sitting on the counter. Chelsea can have the cheeseburger. Um, actually, I should text her that. But um, anyway, I dropped her off, and I've got my water bottle that I never took this morning. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go down. I'm working out for an hour and a half. Let's try and get. Uh, here's Chelsea's bus. Hang on. Put you down while I pull over here. And buckle up. I'm going to get an hour and a half in at the gym. Try and walk. Um, try, and, gonna try and get three or four miles in. I've already gotten some steps in today. I don't know how many. But I'm going to try and get a couple miles in. I ran into one friend at Target. She was like, oh, you walk like that? You need to come walking with me. And I was like, no, nope, I need a bathroom. So either, and she's like, we can start here at Target. I'm gonna walk to my house and you can go to the bathroom there. And then we'll walk back to Target and you can go to the bathroom there. And I was like, you live at the top of a hill. <laughs> she's like, yeah, that'd be perfect. And I was like, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm ready for hills. And then someone else that I'm texting with right now, Stacy, you know who you are. Hey, there's Evelyn. Um, and I passed her this morning going to school. That's I'm sure that's what she's thinking. Like, hey, I saw you this morning. Um, Kaylee's friend, Evelyn. Um, you might remember from years past. But oh, what was I going to say? Uh, Stacy and I are talking. We're going to go get our nails done tomorrow night. 
and she's like, okay, when I get back from vacation, I'm, we need to go to the gym together. We need to go and walk together. Having someone to talk to makes the time fly by way fast, and all of a sudden you've walked four or five miles. So if you guys need that motivation as well, find a walking buddy. Indoors, outdoors, treadmill, talk to someone on the phone while you're on the treadmill. It really, truly does make a huge difference um, to be able to like, distract yourself and get through it way faster. So I am gonna do it, but I'm gonna put the camera in my purse and lock it up here in the car. I'm not gonna take it in the sunshine. I really wish I had time to walk outside, but I don't. Because I don't have time to map out bathroom situations. If you know, you know. I did it. 10,000 steps, actually 10,500 steps to be exact. And I'm back home, I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna put my stuff in here because I literally have to turn right around and go to drop off Ashley for cheer and go to my activity. So I got my little gift bag and uh, I hope they're on the back seat. I will have time after I drop Ashley off. I'm gonna fill my water back up when I go in. I'm gonna wear this cute little top, see how it fits. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't completely tested Target's sizing for my new sizes, so. All right, you did not end up stopping at your dad's because your brother came into town, right? He's there. I called. I talked with him. Yeah. We're good. We just, we're ending our night here. He was supposed to stop. Um, we learned that there probably was a concussion protocol in place that he may or may not have been honest about. Let's just say that. There's some paperwork that was questionable. My brother's staying there, so. Yeah, so his brother came into town staying with him he's gonna check on him every two hours three hours tonight and uh so far he's not showing any signs of concussion he hasn't thrown up or gotten dizzy um but he's a lucky bugger he's a lucky bugger uh but the other good side to my day was this cute package from patty it really has made my night and all of my kids are like oh it's the wooden store that's your favorite <laughs> like everyone knew even Jason knew, right Jay? Even Jason knew. Wow, you mean your husband of 21 you years. You don't know my favorite stores, I give me a break. It, but if you show it to me, I can be like, oh yeah, that's that wood store thing you like. Yeah, he, you, you did know. I did. You did. Because I know you. For the most part. He has prickly beard, it's so hard. <laughs> oh. You should try putting like You're a. The one that tells I me know I like it. the look of it, but I, maybe we need to find some like, um, like facial oil. You need to talk to Mark. Oil, facial oil. It oh, just makes no, your like, beards. It, no, it just helps like. It's a soft. soft. I'll conditioner. Okay. I'll try to condition it. No, you need too much conditioner as it is. Yeah, I'll put conditioner on it. Okay. If somebody well, you're knows just not what gonna, to do. Yes, tell him because he won't listen to me. No. No, he won't. No. Okay, take care, you guys. Good night. Oh. Easy, easy on our tiptoes